Hi, me cuties. We're so excited to let you know that you can now binge our newest series, Influence, exclusively and ad-free on Wondery Plus. It's Meet Cute's modern adaptation of Jane Austen's Persuasion, and we know you're going to love it. Oh, crap and crap! James? Of course. James! <sighs> hey, Quinn! Yeah. I-, I was planning on heading over five minutes ago. I'm-, I'm just getting the prints from the framer. Oh, hold on one second. James, I've been calling for you. I didn't hear you. I'm heading out to the studio. No, 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 you can't. Not today. What's today? Today? James. Hold on. Quinn. Yeah, everything's great. Call you back. Install will happen today. Okay? Okay? Bye. You promised you would help me pick up the prints from the framer and take them to the gallery. They're huge. I can't do it alone. Uh, I'm so sorry. I spaced. I can't today. Why? What's so important? I just... I've got a lot going on. Well, what am I supposed to do? Call Kat. She loves to help. You know who I would love to help? My fiancé. I would. I just... I'm sorry. I'm late. Well, here I am again. In the same position I've been in for months. Ditched by my brand new fiancé. You know, before we got engaged, things were awesome. That's why we got engaged. But ever since I said yes, James has been saying no. A lot. And now our friends have noticed. And they're all asking, is James having an affair? Is James in the mafia? And like an idiot, I keep defending him. I tried avoiding calling any of my friends for help. I was still pissed that they did this stupid seance thing, but I don't really have any other friends other than my friends, so I had to swallow my pride. Kat, hi! You sound intense. Show opening is in three days. Yeah, I know. I'm so sorry about, like, it was so stupid of us to do that seance. I'm so excited to see everything. That tired old gallery is going to be popping once you're in there. You think the gallery is tired? Oh, uh, no. Just... The last few showings were like, but I'm a comedian. I have no attention span, and I don't know anything about art. I don't even know how I'm still talking. Interrupt me. I, I, it doesn't matter. Um, so, James was supposed to help me with install today, but he... Uh, Just um, tell me where to meet you. Uh, uh, ready to lower it? Gently! Gently! Oh. Uh. God, I was so scared I was going to drop it. That's why I wanted a big, strong man to help me. (laughs) Dude, I can't believe James bailed on me today. I mean, yeah, that sucks. You can say it. You can say that you're not surprised because James has been bailing on everything lately. Yeah, but you're different. I should be. I don't want to upset you. I know we've all been really annoying with James being MIA. And it's not about us. It's about you guys. I don't know. I keep defending him, but... I'm reaching my breaking point over here. This show is a really big deal, and he didn't even remember it was happening. Sarah, your work is stunning. Everything is going to be totally fine. I just hope he shows up to the opening. I couldn't believe I was wondering if James would show up to my opening. He's always been so romantic. Our first date, he took us to the fanciest restaurant in our little college town. I'm so (laughs) self-conscious. I don't know what to order. Don't be self-conscious. I don't even know what most of these words mean. Well, um, at the top of the entrees is, uh... Sarah, I gotta be real with you. I messed up. I was trying to seem classy, but I have no idea what's going on here. (laughs) (laughs) That makes two of us. I literally just Googled fancy restaurant near me. Everyone else here is, like, old. I'm sorry. I messed up bad. No. This is awesome. Now that I know that you're also panicking, I can actually relax. When the waiter comes, let's just point at random stuff and see what happens. Okay, but if the food is bad... We're dining and dashing and going to Five Guys. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, come on. I'm not engaged because I love being alone. I'm engaged because I love my partner and I want my partner by my side. I remember when we moved into our apartment... 
Just one more step, come on. Why am I so weak? I work out. No, you don't. When's the last time you worked out? Ugh, I thought saying it would make it true. <sighs> I hate this couch now. Well, it's never leaving this apartment. I'm never moving this thing again. <laughs> I'm never leaving this apartment. It's too perfect. We're gonna do amazing things here. We're gonna host fancy dinner parties. We're gonna have movie marathons when it snows. We're gonna snuggle all day when we get each other sick. We're gonna have little babies running around everywhere. <laughs> James, it's one bedroom. That's why the babies are running around everywhere. They don't have anywhere to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we have some time before then. Weirdly, I really want a wedding. Weirdly, I really want one too. I'm gonna propose to you so hard. Ooh, it better be on a yacht off the coast of Greece. The proposal was incredible. It wasn't a yacht, but James and I went upstate and he rented this kayak, just like the one we were on when we said I love you for the first time all those years ago. And he proposed to me in the middle of a lake. But here I am, just a few months later, coming home late at night to an empty apartment and knowing that it'll probably stay empty for the night. What's up? Hi, just got home from the install. I was gonna make dinner, so I wanted to see if you'd be home soon. Ah, uh, um, probably staying at the studio tonight. <sighs> well, the install went okay, all things considered. It's gonna be a good opening, I hope. Uh, where are you? It sounds busy. It would mean a lot if you came home. I can't tonight, loser. What are you doing that's so important? You're a piano teacher for the public school system. Like, hey. There's no need to insult what I do for work, okay? I gotta go. I'll text you. I sent out an SOS to the group asking them to meet at my apartment the next day. It was unlike me, but I guess that's why everyone actually showed up. Okay, so you're all here. Thank you for coming so early. Please, with infant twins, eight in the morning might as well be two in the afternoon. Whereas for someone like me, eight in the morning might as well be the middle of the night. Time is an illusion. It's hilarious how you all abide by it. What's up, Sarah? <clears throat> well, this isn't easy for me, but... Oh my god, you're pregnant. Okay, can we not do that? Just because a woman is making an announcement, it doesn't mean she's pregnant. Well, my life experience would speak to the contrary, but go on. Wait, are you pregnant? No, you're not, right? I thought I could sense the presence of new life in this apartment. I'm not pregnant. Jesus, stop it. Well, I knew my sense was slightly off. You're making it harder for me to say that you've all been right. About what, though? Something is going on with James. I don't know what it is, but it's something. All of your theories have sucked, to be clear. But they're better than what I'm coming up with, which is... nothing. I have no ideas. So... I asked you all to come so early in the morning because... I want us to follow him. Follow him... in secret? I thought we'd use your minivan. Oh, wow. Okay, I accept. We will use my minivan to follow our friend around. And keep it a secret. Stop saying in secret like that. Whatever James has been doing has been in secret. Every time I've been followed, I've totally deserved it. Yeah, it's just to see. Just to see if there's anything to see, you know? And in my experience, there's always something to see. Even in total darkness. Let's do it. The first stop was James's studio. I knew he had a 10 a.m. lesson on the Upper West Side scheduled, so he'd be leaving soon. <gasps> oh, dude, there he is! Wh what do we say if he sees us? We can all just shout, surprise! Okay, that's actually not a bad idea. He's hailing a cab. We're following that cab. Everybody buckled up? Oh, you actually don't have to buckle in in the back seat. Catherine, that is not true. We followed the cab all the way to... Brooklyn. Oh, snap, dude. We're back in Park Slope. That's where I saw him that night when he was acting super weird. It's slowing down. Wait, he's getting out. Where are we? <gasps> oh, dude. Oh, dude. Dude. That's that lady I saw him with. Uh, what was, uh, Kendra. Yeah, Kendra. She was so rude. She's visited me in dreams before. Sometimes as a woman. Sometimes as a crow, actually. How would you know if it's her if she's a bird? 
Maybe, you know, maybe she's his 10 a.m. lesson. No, no. His 10 a.m. is a middle schooler named Jason. Who is Kendra? What's her deal? Oh, uh, I actually, I, I don't, I don't know really, I don't really know what her deal is. Hey, Sarah, I don't know if we should be, well, what if we see something that you don't want to see? I need to know what's going on with James. What's that bag she's got? No kiss goodbye, no hug even. That's good. That That's a really good sign. This is so weird. <gasps> He's crossing the street. He's coming towards us. Oh, everybody duck. If we all duck, then we can't see him. He's taking the bag somewhere. Frankie, get up. We need to keep following him. It was hard not to feel completely insane following James around like this, but how could I be expected to act normal in a completely abnormal situation, right? Right? We watched as James took the mystery bag to a laundromat. Was he doing Kendra's laundry? And then we followed him to... a pet store? I did not see us winding up at a pet store today. Maybe he's going to surprise you with a well-trained puppy, Sarah. That's why he's been at that studio so much. He's been taking care of the little thing. That would explain the new life energy I felt earlier. Deidre, you really think James is avoiding his fiance so he can train a puppy? I kind of want to run in there and see if they have these treats I like. Come again? What? I accidentally ate this bacon jerky when I was super stoned at a girl's house and... The rest is history. I fell in love. Oh, look! He's coming out! With a huge bag of dog food? Okay, Dee, maybe you were right. We followed James to another apartment complex on the other side of Brooklyn. He carried the bag of dog food inside. My mind raced. I had always promised myself that I wouldn't be this kind of partner. The kind to go through someone's phone or check emails. And James had never given me a reason to. Aside from that one time, senior year of college. (laughs) Cat, I can't even. He said he misses her. Who is she? Why does he miss her? This is so bad. (laughs) What? You're supposed to tell me it's nothing. This is just like when my cousin realized her husband was a serial cheater. (laughs) Cat! Loser, why are you crying? You animal! Cat, stop! Is that my computer? Yeah. We know all about your games. What is going on? I'll be waiting right outside. You do whatever you have to do to him, Sarah. I wasn't snooping. I just opened Facebook and I saw you message some girl that you miss her. You went through my messages? It was open. But but it, it doesn't matter. You are... You're cheating on me. Oh my god, Sarah. That's such a violation. You're evading the question. Who is Devin? She was my friend in high school. We fell out of touch. I saw something that made me think of her, so I messaged her. Well, likely story. It is likely, loser, because it's the truth. Here, read all of our messages. Scroll back further than this one conversation. No, I'm I'm not going to read more of your messages. This is so crazy. I'm going in. Sam, come with me. What? Why? Why me? Because if it's something shady, you're the most experienced with handling that kind of thing. Can't argue with facts. I don't think you should go in. Kat, it's fine. I'm fine. You're not fine. I thought he was just sick of us as friends, but this is weird. I'm getting bad vibes. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm going in. Come on, Sam. (sighs) I'm not a cops kind of guy, but if you're not back in 15 minutes, I'm going to panic. How do we buzz up? We don't know which apartment he went to. We'll just pick a random one and then try to figure it out once we're inside. UPS! Dude, genius. I totally saw that on Law & Order. What is this place? Uh, that weird smell is not me. I did a pit check. It does smell weird. Dude, whatever James is doing here, it can't be good. Nothing decent ever goes down in a place that smells like this. I'm scared. I want to leave. Let's just knock on one more door. They're not going to answer. Um, Sarah? Wait, what? Wait, how do you know my name? You just look like a friend. Bye now. The woman knew your name? It was like a horror movie. I wonder if James was in there. Actually, James kind of left the building. 
right after you guys went in. We were going to follow him, but we didn't want to leave you. Ugh, we lost him? I'm sorry, Sarah. It's probably for the best. I'm so embarrassed I made you all come along. This was completely unhinged. It wasn't, you know, pointless. We learned that he's doing Kendra's laundry for some reason. And also that there's a dog. And it's, it's a hungry dog, you know? He's having some kind of affair. Sam, you were right. Dude, we saw a lot of stuff that didn't seem right or make sense, but I was not getting affair vibes. Then he just regrets proposing to me. He doesn't want to get married to me, and, and that's okay. I'm independent. I'm a totally independent, badass woman, and I actually have a show opening in two days that I'm not prepared for, and this is stupid. It's really stupid that I'm spending my time worrying about this when I could be focusing on my career, so... Sarah, you can be an independent, badass woman and still be, like, devastated that your fiancé is sneaking around. It's not stupid. We drove away, heads hanging low. I was embarrassed beyond belief. Too embarrassed, in fact, to even think about working on my show. Like every hardworking artist is wont to do, I went home for a midday nap on the couch. As I was falling asleep, I was mulling on James, searching for any clue that could lead me in the right direction. I remembered one of our last normal nights, shortly after the engagement. Loser! Get in this bed right now. I'm cold. I need snuggles. I'm calling. I'm calling. Ah! <laughs> Let me see that ring. I shouldn't wear it to bed, but I just never want to take it off. I wish my dad could be at our wedding. I wish that too. I feel like I didn't get the chance to become who I wanted him to see me be, you know? He was really proud of you, as you are. What? A piano teacher for some kids? James, that's an awesome job. You're helping kids learn to love music. I'm too much of an underachiever. Underachiever? What are you talking about? I don't know. I feel like you need a ring. It's not fair that I'm the only one who gets a fancy ring. Should I get you one? You are not going to want to get me a ring once you hear how much that one costs. Our love is priceless, darling. (laughs) Plus, your ring won't have a diamond on it. You seriously don't have to do that. Loser, lighten up. It's just you and me. It was just James and me. But now, it seemed like it was just me. But then, right as I was about to fall asleep, I got a text from James. Hey, I wasn't sure if I should say something, but I'm pretty weirded out. I saw you and Frankie and the rest parked outside of my student's apartment building today. Were you guys following me? 